Hi dear students, today we will discuss about uh, thermal analysis. It's a quite useful method of analysis. And in this very method, uh, a substance under investigation uh, is kept in a controlled temperature environment. So when a substance is kept in a controlled temperature environment, then a physical property related to that very substance or the products obtained from that very substance, that physical property is measured. So uh, we must have a substance and this substance should be in a controlled temperature environment or under the controlled temperature program and during the process the substance can be converted into certain products this may be the case as well so in thermal analysis what we do is that we keep a substance under controlled temperature environment and we measure a physical property and physical property of this substance or maybe physical property of its products that is measured and that is measured as a function of temperature so now you can get the whole picture here that in thermal analysis we measure a physical property of a substance or its products when that substance is put in a controlled temperature environment. What are these properties which we can measure as a function of temperature? Well, there could be many properties, for example, mass or change in mass as a function of temperature can be a property temperature can be measured enthalpy heat evolved or absorbed optical properties or optical characteristics can also be taken into account magnetic properties mechanical properties of substances and electrical properties as a function of temperature can also be measured. So in a nutshell we can say that when a substance is put in a controlled temperature environment and physical properties of that very substance or the products of that very substance are measured and these physical properties there is a list of physical properties as you can see when mass is a physical property then we have different techniques like we have thermogravimetry or T G 
Secondly, in terms of mass, evolved gas detection or evolved gas analysis can be done. Thermo particulate analysis can also be performed. So all these techniques, these are the techniques where the physical property of the substance or its product is mass as a function of temperature. That is matter. Similarly, differential thermal analysis where a change in temperature of the sample with reference to some standard or reference material is measured. And Thalpi differential scanning calorimetry or DSC is a technique where enthalpy is measured. Thermal optimetry, thermoluminescence are the techniques which are used where optical properties are measured. Thermomagnetometry. another property where magnetic properties of the substances as a function of temperature are measured. Similarly, thermomechanical analysis or TMA where the displacement of the sample, the shrinkage, change in its volume or size as a function of temperature are recorded is what referred to as thermomechanical analysis and similarly where electrical properties are measured is thermoelectrical method of analysis or thermoelectrometry. So we have bunch of physical properties here which can be recorded or measured as a function of temperature and based upon those measurements the thermal analysis of different or various substances can be done. So in order to summarize this, we can say that the thermal analysis is actually a substance is in a controlled temperature program. Temperature can be properly monitored, adjusted, controlled and there must be a physical property which can be measured as a function of temperature. And all these are the physical properties and the techniques related to these properties we have summarized here. Thermogravimetry, evolved gas analysis, also called as evolved gas detection, EGD, and evolved gas analysis, EGA, differential thermal analysis, DTA, DSC, differential scanning, calorimetry and similarly there are uh, other techniques as well. Thermal analysis is widely used and the most widely analyzed materials by means of thermal analysis are inorganic materials followed by high molecular mass polymers, metals, metal oxides and then organic materials. And as far as the techniques are concerned, most widely used techniques are thermogravimetry and differential thermal analysis followed by differential scanning calorimetry uh, and thermomechanical analysis. I mean these four techniques are widely used for this purpose. In our next lecture, 
we will see how thermogravimetry works, what are the principles on which it is based. So stay tuned. Thank you.